parents have read to us funny books and that just got us to read more and more books. Books that um, are interesting and that just get us involved into it. It's a great way to explore the world, to explore other lives, whether it's historical or just people different from you. It's not just like, oh, we have to read. You get to live the story, pretty much. You get to be together, you're having fun. You maybe get to pretend that you're somebody else or experience something that you've never done before. You're like imagining a story. You're not like really imagining like the, what the people are doing, but you're imagining it yourself in the story. I <laughs> think in terms of, of bringing everyone together, it spawns creativity between uh, all of imagination. us. Imagination. And imagination. <laughs> and it's nice to see the looks on their faces when you're reading something. And you can see that inside, they're imagining the story, they're creating the scenes or the picture that you're trying to depict. When we're all reading together, I think it's interesting to hear what everybody else thinks is gonna happen next or what everybody thinks of the characters. We usually talk about how like sad we are after the book ends and how we need to get a new one right away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hearing the experiences that they're getting from the book or what they're learning and sharing that information, you know, that's nice. I bring home a book and I'm like, Mom, you really have to read this book. Well, it just feels warm inside because, you know, you're spending time with them. You're bonding. Maybe you come home and then read a book or something with them and then you can, like, spend the rest of the time with them. It's like entertainment created by your parents. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's family time.